This video will set custom global permissions for groups on our site. First, let's take a look at the Organic Groups Global Permissions. We'll go to Configuration, Organic Groups Global Permissions. These are the permissions active for all groups that are not overriding the default rules and permissions. This is where we can change how groups behave by default. For example, we can specify that members should be able to edit their own article content. So under members, we would select edit own article content. And I'll save that for now. Now if we have Chelsea view Chelsea's first article, she has the edit tab. But when we click on that and scroll down, you'll see that she doesn't have an option to delete it. In this scenario, members would be able to revise their articles but not delete them. If, however, we go ahead and give members the ability to delete own article content, then when she comes back over here and refreshes, she does have the option to delete this article. The permissions edit any article content and delete any article content allow users to edit and delete content posted to the group by any member, not just themselves. This should clearly be given only to trusted members, and this is the reason that I have created the role content moderator. We can give those permissions to the moderator, and now we can have a handful of trusted members help moderate the content in each group. Let's go over the rest of these permissions. The first one, edit group, only give this to trusted members because this will allow users to see the edit tab on the group homepage where they'll be able to change the group name, change whether or not it is a group, edit the body, and change the group visibility. Administer group, again, only give this to trusted members because this allows the user to see the group tab on the group homepage where they will be able to add people to the group if they also have that permission below, see all members of the group, in which case they can approve membership requests, deny membership requests, block members from the group, remove people from the group, and assign group roles to members. The administer group permission also lets them view group roles and view group permissions. Currently those are read only, uh, so it wouldn't matter too much, but I'll show you how we can override those in the video group specific permissions. Then down at the bottom, we have subscribe user to group. This permission allows the user to see the subscribe to group link uh, and membership must be approved by a group administrator. Subscribe user to group, no approval required. This permission allows the user to see the subscribe to group link and the membership is instant. It does not need to be approved by a group administrator. Unsubscribe from group. This permission allows the user to see the unsubscribe from this group link. Approve and deny a subscription. This permission allows the user to approve or reject a membership requested by another user. This will also allow them to remove members from the group. Add user. This permission allows the user to add other site users to the group uh, when used in conjunction with administer group above. In the next section, I'll show you how to set roles and permissions on a group by group basis.